slide presents the overview of the chapter. Learning Objectives By the end of this chapter, you will be able to Define a map Define the directions Analyze how directions are shown on maps Explain how distances between places are represented on a map through scale Describe the symbols used in maps Introduction Before entering into the chapter, follow the instructions shown on the screen. Click each tab to know more. We know that a map is a visual representation of an entire area or a part of an area typically represented on a flat surface. Generally, maps tell us many things about different places like places that are near to seas, mountains, deserts and also about the climate of the places, vegetation in places, kinds of people, languages, etc. Do you know that there exist multiple maps for multiple uses? To get all the information of a place, we need to refer many types of maps like physical maps, political maps, historical maps, etc. One can get many details about a place from maps. Let us learn how to make and read maps. Let us start our learning by looking at a small conversation between two friends named Wani and Rani, who met at a science fair exhibition. Wani lives in Ramapuram and Rani lives in Sitapuram. One fine day, Wani and Rani met at a science fair exhibition at Kotapalli and they both became good friends. Rani thought of visiting Vani's house someday, but she does not know the address of Vani's house from bus stand. So, Rani wrote a letter asking the route map of Vani's house. Then, Vani prepared a sketch map of the way to her house and sent the details of the map to Rani. Now, let us go through the conversation of Vani and Rani after Rani reaches Vani's house. Hi Rani, how is the journey? Oh Vani, I am tired. You have given the sketch map of your house, but you did not mention the distance in that sketch map. Your house is too far, and if I had known that before, I would have taken an auto. Oh, sorry Rani. I forgot to mention the distance in the sketch map. Anyhow, if you take an auto next time, please inform the driver that you have to reach South Ramapuram. It is where my house is located. South Ramapuram? How can I find the south or north of Ramapuram? Hey, it is very simple. My house is located in the south of the village and the opposite side is north. By the way, have you heard about directions and do you know how to find directions in a place? Directions? No, Vani. I don't know anything about directions. Can you please explain me? Directions the directions are very useful to us in our daily life. Example, when we want to go to an unknown area, we need to find directions to reach our destination. The four major directions are East, West, North and South. Commonly, the directions are denoted with their starting letters that is E, W and S. Generally, 
These four directions are known as cardinal directions or cardinal points. In the above picture, we observe that a man is facing the rising sun. From this hint, we can say that he is facing the east direction as sun rises in the east. So, all the things to his right side will be towards south and all things to his left will be towards the north. In similar way, all the things behind the man will be in the west. Thus, direction is relative to something. Based on the point where we are looking from, the place may be east, west, north or south. Let us do a simple... Let us do another... Now, let us look at how directions are shown on a map. Directions are indicated on the maps by the north-south line with the arrowhead pointing towards the north. So the east direction will be on the right, the west direction will be on the left and the south direction will be at the bottom of the map. However, in some maps you may find south on the top or on the left side. In such instances, a special mark will be given on the map by showing the north direction arrow. Now, let us look at the topic scale or distances on a map. In order to know how to show the scale or distance on a map, let us take an example of a bridge. Consider a bridge on which there are exactly six lamp posts. These lamp posts are placed at equal distance and the distance between each lamp post is 100 meters. Thus, the total length of the bridge is 500 meters. Now, if you want to represent the same scenario on paper, then you have to draw a sketch map of the bridge and the lamp posts. While drawing the sketch, the lamp posts must be drawn at equal distances and if you give the distance between each lamp post as 5 cm, then the length of the bridge on paper will be 25 cm. Therefore, the sketch on paper will be very much smaller than that of the actual bridge. The same concept is applied in scale of maps. Through the whole concept, we know that scale is used to show the actual distance on the ground in a reduced manner on a map. Thus, one can find out the actual distances between places using the scale on the maps. In our example, the relation between the distance on the bridge and in the sketch is as shown on the screen. Note, a scale is the ratio between the distance on the map and the actual distance on the ground. Let us learn about symbols briefly. A map is a compact representation of the real world and map symbols are used to denote real objects. Both shapes and colors are used for symbols on maps to identify or denote easily. Generally, we observe colors on a map and these colors on map cover larger areas like green, forest area, blue, waterways. A person can understand the map clearly with the help of map legend and it is called as key to all the symbols that are used on a map. In map legend, we see the meanings of the symbols mentioned on the map. Let us know about the symbols used in maps in detail. We all know that maps are too small for us to draw pictures of the required things shown on them. For example, we cannot draw the real temple or a house as it needs more space on the map. So, with the help of symbols, we can show the required things on a map. Common symbols called conventional symbols are also used in maps. Follow-up work Collect your district map from various sources like atlas, internet, magazines, newspapers, etc. to locate your village, 
famous temple in your district, your school and river. Prepare a map of your classroom by following these instructions. Find the four directions in your classroom by facing north. Draw a sketch map of the classroom with walls and location of the objects you want to show. Make an index of the symbols you have used in the map and also mention the scale. You have successfully completed the chapter 